Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Ben here at That Cologne Guy coming at you with another fragrance review. If you follow my channel, you know I'm working on an M. Wash series. In fact, I've got a long ways to go, and I had a little extra time, so I thought I would uh, knock another one out. And in this episode, I'm taking a look at... Can you see that there? Yeah, there we go. Beloved Man. Taking a look at Beloved Man, and uh, this 2013 uh, Woody Oriental is uh, distinct for uh, three different reasons. Uh, number one, it was only released, uh, ex it's pretty exclusive, it was released on Amwage's uh, website and just a few department stores, so it kind of flew under the radar. You really don't see this one uh, promoted or reviewed that much, um, or even available. And uh, I just went to their site and they've got it for $330 for a 100 mil 3.4 ounce. So uh, you can still get it, but um, it's quite exclusive. Uh, the second thing I would note is... Um, 2000, this is a 2013 release, as I said, so to me, Beloved Man marks the change away from their traditional friends, uh, frankincense and myrrh backbone fragrances that are, you know, typically amouage, and it goes into um, a new direction. And just like any, any sort of change, uh, some people will like it and some people uh, don't like it. And it seems to me that this one kind of uh, starts this. Uh, this is this does not have a traditional myrrh or frankincense stamp, um, and so I could see a lot of people saying that this this one doesn't seem like quote unquote a true amouage, whatever that means for you. Um, but but I, I could certainly see people saying that because uh, this is where they started to veer uh, in a, in a different direction, and uh, we'll talk about that in in. Uh, a little bit. Now, the, the, the third thing to note uh, for this one is uh, also, uh, this kind of unique, uh, maybe for the wrong reasons, um, supposedly this one does not do particularly well in terms of longevity and projection. Now, obviously I had a sample of this. Um, it did quite well for me, but I will say that it didn't do uh, as well as other amouages, and it did do the, um, I guess you'd say it had the least projection and least... Uh, longevity uh, of any of the amouages that I have sampled. It was still good. It was still good, but I, uh, there's no doubt that this is not going to be confused with Interlude or Gold or practically any other uh, amouages for me. Um, this one just had average performance um, for, especially for, for an amouage, uh, but that, that would be one thing that would I would note for this. Okay, so on to the notes. Um, sometimes I, I, when I look at the different fragrances I'll talk about, uh, three and four and five fragrant, uh, notes in this. For me, you get two. And I'm not saying it's necessarily linear, but that's what jumps out. And I actually had to do a little research for one of them because I couldn't quite pick it out. And um, one of them is a grapefruit. So when you first spray this, you're going to get a grapefruit uh, blast. And, you know, I don't know because of Creed Aventus, you know, I don't know if everyone is, is trying to use grapefruit after the success of Creed Aventus. Um, this is certainly not a clone of that, but I just mean, you know, we'll, we'll never know. Maybe that was because of the, the grapefruit was a fad at that time. Um, but the, the second note is uh, Elemy. And uh, I actually had to look this up because I did not know what I was picking up. It was something close to a frankincense, but it, or maybe a sandalwood, but I, I, it wasn't. So um, this is what Elemy is. This is new information for me, too. So I'm going to read it. Uh, the Elemy tree is closely related to the trees from which uh, Poppinax, myrrh, and frankincense essential oils are extracted. Due to their similar properties, it is often referred to as the poor man's frankincense. Okay, so for, 300, for $330 a bottle uh, on Amouage, I don't know that you want to hear the word poor man uh, anywhere uh, if you're paying that kind of money. Um, and so one, one, one thing about Beloved Man uh, that it, it does suffer from is lack of uh, distinction. And so when I smell it, it, it smells very, very nice. Uh, but if you were to ask me uh, what it smells like and then just on the fly without having smelled it, it's difficult to uh, remember. Uh, it smells good but it doesn't have a distinctive character to it. And that's one thing that uh, is a drawback from it, for it. And I, I like it, but um, here, here's what I always do. Think, think of, think of uh, one, a, a band, a group, an artist, someone that you like in music, right? And think of when you look at uh, 
all the songs they have on an album. Uh, there might be one or two songs on the album that you simply don't recognize. And then as soon as it comes on, you say, oh yeah, that one? That is Beloved Man. It's not that it's bad, because it's not bad. Um, it's just that uh, I, I don't recall the specific smell of it very easily unless I smell it again and I go, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's the one. Uh, so uh, it does lack distinctive character and I would say it doesn't necessarily stand out especially with regard to the other amouages. Um, some of these are you know as soon as you even say the word gold or as soon as you say interlude you immediately uh, it immediately evokes certain senses and takes you back to uh, the notes and the aromas. Uh, this is not one of them. Uh, again though it, it doesn't it's not a clone of anything it doesn't smell uh, generic um, it just smells nice. That is the, the word that comes out the most uh, for me. Uh, there is a slight resin quality to it. Uh, it's almost like a sweet resin. Um, but beyond that, uh, I always need a little help to... <laughs> I need a little help when I, when I uh, think of this one and I have to actually grab the sampler and smell it. So uh, that, that is one thing that detracts from Beloved Man. Now, uh, the, uh, I alluded to this earlier, but the, um, this is Beloved Man, so of course it's geared towards uh, men in marketing, uh, but uh, this is totally uh, a unisex uh, fragrance, really. Um, there's, there's nothing here uh, to suggest. Yeah, it, I don't think it's distinctively masculine. Um, I would categorize this as uh, s slightly masculine, easily worn by all. How's that? Uh, in other words, it's a unisex fragrance. Fragrance, and um, uh, as far as versatility, um, it, because it's because it smells nice, uh, it is uh, going to be uh, a crowd pleaser. Uh, it's it's not offensive. Uh, you could wear this anytime. You could wear this to the office, and because of the longevity and the uh, projection are not so powerful. Actually, one thing that might draw you to this one. Uh, is this would be an amouage for someone who really uh, wanted to wear an amouage to the office but was worried about, you know, uh, clearing out the room. So if you would like a, a day scent uh, for uh, your the office and you're looking for an amouage, then you would choose this one because uh, the projection is within an arm's length and longevity is an eight-hour shift. So there you go. Um, maybe that's what they were thinking when they concocted this. So... Uh, uh, unlike Interlude and Gold, <laughs> that you really have to watch out, uh, this is one that could um, serve you well uh, during the day. Uh, it's certainly a nighttime scent as, as well. Um, and, and as far as seasons, I mean, you know, I, I guess I would go f fall if I had to choose one. I see this more as uh, maybe even spring, but really this could be worn anytime, anywhere. And uh, I, I, at the end, I'll, I'll give a, a final evaluation, but I would uh, add this to my uh, collection and I would use it uh, primarily in my end for uh, at the office if I wanted to uh, wear an amouage. Uh, it, those of you guys know, I mean, I make no bones about it. Um, I'm a huge uh, amouage uh, fanboy and uh, there's not one amouage that I don't like or that I wouldn't want in my collection. So, I mean, I, of course I want this one. Now, that having said that, though, I would say I do admit that this would be toward... Um, I would get other ones first. Uh, I would get this one and Figment Man uh, toward the end. That's the one that smells like uh, wet soil. I've got a review on that one. And uh, it, it, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I would have to really, really... Um, wait until I found the price point I was willing to pay. Uh, right now, I think FragranceNet.com uh, has it for 150 for a 100 milliliter, 3.4 ounce. Uh, I'd be up for something like that. Um, anything, anything above 150, though, I, you know, I, and it probably wouldn't happen for me. I'd just sit and wait. I'd look for a tester for something like this, um, just because it does lack a lot of the distinctive character. Now. Uh, some some of the library collection, which I'll be getting to, the library collection ones are really good, and uh, and some of those are also perfect for the office, which is why again I would hold off on this one and wait till um, you know I found uh, the deal, uh, so to uh, so to so to speak, and I wouldn't uh, necessarily uh, pay for I definitely wouldn't pay three hundred and thirty dollars for this, um, but uh, you know that, su such is life. Now uh, overall. Uh, I would say this, uh, for those of you who like to collect something, 
uh, if whether it be you know albums of a band or whether it be fragrances of a house. So let's say let's say you're a big fan of a certain house like uh, anything a Dior. Okay, just to give you an example, um, and you could think of maybe one or two fragrances that you just bought just so that you could complete the collection. Whatever, whatever. Think of whatever is relevant to you, though. Uh, you know, it might be music, it might be fragrance, it might be um, you know movies, anything. Whatever you collect, every once in a while you have to buy something so that way you complete the collection. Uh, and uh, Beloved man for me would be that. If, if I'm looking for an amouage and I could get it at the right price, I would get something like this to add to the, to the amouage collection. I would wear it during the day. And as I said, I wouldn't necessarily um, you know, seek, seek this out. I, I really like the grapefruit. I mean, it is nice. Um, I just, there are other amouages that are so much better, um, whether it be the library collection or the sampler set from their, their normal releases. And uh, for that reason alone, this one would kind of goes to the back burner a little bit. So uh, I'm going to give this a three out of five sprays. Follow my channel, you know that I give um, a review out of f uh, five sprays in each episode. And um, I have just a tiny, if you can see, you can actually see it, see that right there? Yeah, I have a tiny amount. Let's see if I can get that out. And uh, uh, this would be three out of five for me. So this would be three out of five sprays means that it's borderline uh, and four out of five or five out of five, I get it. One or two, I wouldn't get it. Uh, this is a three out of five, and I would add it to my collection, but for the reasons that I had mentioned earlier, which is uh, probably for the office, and uh, uh, only only if I can uh, snag it at the right price. So uh, let's go. We're gonna go uh, one on each side of the neck and and the chest. How's that? One, two, and three sprays out of five for. Uh, Beloved Man, exclusively re released on their website and just a couple of department stores. So you probably have never seen an actual bottle uh, of this. And uh, that makes it slightly different than um, some of the other releases. So there you have it. A um, uh, couple co things to finish up. I'll just say this. Uh, as you know, I'm trying to get a few more uh, subscribers, and uh, I appreciate the uh, the new subscribers. And I would say I'm trying to get to 100 uh, subscribers so that I can get my own URL on YouTube. And so, uh, if you like uh, th these videos, if you like what I'm doing, please uh, subscribe. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, it would mean a lot. And uh, forward them to people you know who like fragrances, so I can get more subscribers. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and also in the comment box, a uh, couple questions, right? Uh, let me know what you guys think of Beloved Man. Uh, let me know if you have anything in your uh, collections of any type that you bought specifically just to complete the collection. Uh, that'd be interesting to see that too. And uh, uh, don't forget to hit the turn on notifications for this channel. And uh, always remember, fragrance marks the celebration of today. Have a good one.